Don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bizon's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bizon took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Jackpot, Sly. That's Sean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it.
to the Iron Horse trades, but the only way in through the caboose is locked. To blow the locks off, you'll need to collect the ultra unstable denatured spice gas from those balloons floating above town. How am I supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas? Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you've popped a balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress.
killed it. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack and got captured by Inspector Fox. Carmelita? She's here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up, Murray. I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that... that's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. <laughs> Hey, criminal, you doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Murray, I've come to break you out. Fat chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me.
trying to free Murray. number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake.
up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done, provided I can catch up with that train. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. The other clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Sneak your way up there and grab it. You should have seen how many missile launchers there were attached to these train cars. I don't mind saying that it took some real finesse on my part to deal with the defenses. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
It's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscle. No, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, They'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Okay, okay. So, I should go find these cubs, carry them back here, and throw them over the fence, right? Correct again. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray.
and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later, but we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse trains. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I'd kill him like a spotted owl. I sure Clockwork parts, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. 
No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on? Have to call up your little friends for help? Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. <laughs> Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, chum. The clockwork part is mine. Said stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. 